Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Recently in the news we have seen uh, so much about the Sabri Mana Temple in Kerala. So in Google if you search uh, you will get too much news about the controversies around the temple uh, how women were allowed uh, weren't allowed now they are allowed. So uh, uh, while researching about uh, Sabri Mala too much because that has been in the news for the past uh, three months i think uh, in september the supreme court brought this new order and since then sabri mala has been in news the worst thing is uh, during the protests people are getting hurt and that's bad news for everyone i don't know what's happening uh, what exactly is the situation there but uh, i checked out the temple in 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 the pictures and the arts when i tried uh, searching more about sabri mala and as the wikipedia says it is a hindu temple complex located at the peria tiger reserve in kerala considered to be one of the holiest in hinduism so it is the largest annual pilgrimage in the world with an estimated 17 to 30 million devotees visiting every year the temple is dedicated to the god ayappan uh, who accordingly uh, i mean according to the belief is the son of shiva and vishnu so there are uh, i think the confluences of uh, three four traditions there in this temple uh, the architecture is actually surrounded by the beautiful landscape actually it is uh, the the temple is situated on the hill top amidst uh, 18 hills at an altitude of 450 80 480 m that is 1574 ft above sea level and is surrounded by mountains as you can see in my sketch also there is this mountains and a hint of the forest so the dense forest that is the peria tiger reserve around the temple is also known as pungavanam sorry if my pronunciation is not correct but that's what wikipedia says so uh, about the temple itself the temple was uh, rebuilt after arson and vandalism in 1950 as wikipedia says thought to have uh, been carried out by christians according to the police investigation that time no charges were brought and the earlier stone image of the deity was replaced by a pancholoha idol about 1 and 1/2 feet made from an alloy from five metals the temple consists of a sanctum sanctorum with a copper plated roof i think the yellow part that is what we can see in the pictures is the copper plated uh, temple the two mandapams the Pelikalpura which houses the altar in 1969 the flag staff was installed the shrine of uh, Kanimula Ganapati Pratishtha in southwest is the Shrikovel of Shani Dhanam so um, there are there are lots of other temples around this place because you can see the red and uh, dark brick colored temples around and i have not uh, sketched the devotees around in all the pictures you will see so many people crowded around i just wanted to concentrate on the structure the architecture that's why i did not sketch them but uh, this place is really crowded through out like for the whole of the year and the recent developments uh, what about the high court order and is what i can find in the internet is in 1991 i'm sorry 1991 the kerala high court prohibited the entry of women above the age of 10 and below the age of 50 to the temple however on 28th september 2018 this year that's why i said it's been in news for the past 2 uh, 3 months so on 28th september 2018 the supreme court of india overturned the ban on the entry of women declaring that the selective ban on women was unconstitutional and discriminatory the temple is open for worship only during the days of uh, mandala puja 
that is around 15th november to 26th december that's why right now it's even more in news because this is the time people used to visit uh, the temple that's why and uh, the issues have raised uh, i hope that uh, things get better here in kerala because recently they have been out of the floods that was a devastation let's hope the things get better around for this temple and uh, people can really enjoy this beautiful place uh, like be it anything but i loved the architecture personally i've never been there i wish to be there someday very soon thank you guys thanks for watching today's video let me know how you felt about it let me know whether i need to improve on things or not hope to see you again bye